Yo, what's good everyone? Wesley Paul here back with another one and today is going to be a very, very, very basic look at getting started mixing your drums in mpc beats slash mpc software now once again this is going to be mostly aimed towards beginners and new users of the software so if you are more experienced this one definitely is not for you but feel free to stick around if you want to okay so like i said this is this is just very very basic yeah, just a way to get you started. You, I'm not saying you're going to do this and be perfect at mixing drums. No, I'm not qualified to teach you how to fully uh, mix drums. And I definitely don't want to confuse you. So I'm going to show you some technique, some techniques that you can use. Now, there's a little cheat sheet that was created by CMP or CMP Kits. So if you go to cmpkits.com, yeah, and the website looks like this and you scroll all the way down, right here under MIDI, you've got this thing here where you can click and download. I don't think it's the one that looks like this. I think once you download it, it links you to something else and it actually tells you, once you download that, it tells you what level to put all of your drum sounds. So I've got my kick here. Yeah, it will say something like, put that at minus 6 dB. So you see like when I pull it there, it says it's at 0 dB. And then we'll say like, okay, put that at, at minus 6. So I will drag that down there. So it's on 6 or near about. And then it will tell you what to do for all of the rest of your sounds as well. So you could just get that, load up that sheet, go through it and look and then put all of these drums on so your hats your snares all at those sounds now even if you do that it doesn't mean you have a, a really perfect mix you still have to listen out if it doesn't sound right to you you might have to adjust it slightly um and if you do follow even if you do follow that your your drum sounds are probably going to sound quite low so then what you can do is go to your limiter, you can add a limiter and then you can adjust the gain. So when you adjust this gain, so you can, you can bring it back up. So if you've done all of that and you can see it's, it's down there, it's like minus something and then you can just come here and you can turn your gain up to make it louder once again. If you don't want to download the, the cheat sheet, you can just do it yourself. Just play your, your drum loop and adjust your sounds accordingly. So what I like to do is start with the with the kick and then from the snare, I'm gonna drag that down, I'll be listening to it and then I'll drag and eat all of my sounds down until it sounds balanced. You wouldn't do it like that. You'll do it in more detail, but you get the point. You'll be like listening out for all of your sounds, putting these faders down until your mix sounds quite balanced. So generally your hi-hat cymbals, they should be very, very low. And then your kick should be hitting kind of hard and then your snare somewhere in between. And then... You work on that and that's how you start to get sort of, of a balanced mix, okay? Then another thing you can do is, so as on your inserts here, so like I said about the limiter, you can go to modulation and add a stereo width. When you do that... It's a bit too much. So when you're adding width, you're sort of pushing your drums out to the side so they're not all sitting in the middle of your mix, okay? So you're going to push them out and make it sound wider. That's another technique you can use. And then we're going to go over to Program Edit. And then we're going to do some more stuff with our sounds. So let's look at the hats once again. 
Over here on edit zones, make sure you're on current and not on all. If you're on all, you're going to affect everything. So make sure you press on current. Over here, so you've got your hat. And then see here where it's got randomized? I like this section here because here you can start, where it's got pan, you turn it up. It's going to start padding my hats. Let me just solo those. It's, pan, it's panning my hats from left to right, but randomly. Okay, so it's not like synced like ding, 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 ding. It's randomly just panning left to right. And then the level, if I don't want all of my hats at the same level, I can turn that up. So it's randomly, so just randomly some are like um, higher, some are lower. And then you can turn the offset up as well. Yeah, and there's some things you can do to play everything. Another thing you can do, so you've got your snare. So just say if your snare, you're not happy with um, the way it sounds, just come back over. I think we spoke about this in a previous video, but you've got your filter type. At the moment, it's on like low as in low pass, so I can turn that down. But what I want to do actually is click there. I'm going to change it to high pass. I'm going to bring that down and adjust it until it sounds. You can keep your loop playing and get that. And get that how you want. And to be honest, that's all we're going to look at today. So gain staging. Getting your drums at the right level. So trust me, that, that thing that I showed you from the CMP Kits website is it is actually very useful if you're new um, for helping you with your gain staging of your drum sounds. And then you can do like these things over here in program edit, play with the randomize function on all of your different sounds. Look at your, your filter here. Um, cut out some high end and cut out some low end. And that is a great way for you to just get started with mixing your drums. And don't forget your effects. So, you know, your your width. Uh, you can put an enhancer on there. Um, I've just done that, just personal preference. I've got in here to like boost drums. And then I've got my air limiter on there as well. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave that off there. I did say it was going to be very, very basic. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go. Take care. Peace out. See you at the next one.